Hi guys, my name is Shasira and in today's video you will be seeing um, my stuffed um, peppers recipe which I hope you guys really enjoy. I'm actually editing it right now. I completely forgot to do an intro so I'm sorry but um, this is new to me again. Like I completely forgot how to do YouTube. So um, I hope you guys hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, how I said it's going to be a stuffed peppers recipe. It's very easy, very fast, very... It's a very no-brainer. So I hope you guys enjoy it and I hope to see you guys in the next video. See you guys. In the so this is what I'm eating for lunch and I'm going to show you how I prep everything. So I just got a pepper and I cut it in half and then I cleaned it inside and um, then I dried it with a paper towel. Um, I have about four in here. Then I have ground turkey. This one's 90% lean. And then 10% fat. That was the highest one I can find, which we need that fat in there. Here I have some red onions, some green onions, and a little bit of cilantro. I have all my seasonings here. So I have oregano, because I love oregano. That's a half of a tablespoon, half of a tablespoon of olive oil. Just a tiny bit, that's not even a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Um, I have less than a teaspoon of black pepper. I don't like black pepper. Um, a little bit of lemon, lemon, and, what is it, lemon pepper? So half of a tablespoon of chili powder and a little less than half of a tablespoon of cumin. That's gonna be the seasonings, which I'm gonna add towards the end so I can pick it up. And then I have some garlic, which I'm gonna cook all this in. And then I have a little bit of tomato sauce. I know we're not supposed to use tomato sauce on keto, but we can, but just not excessively. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna put a little tiny bit to give it enough flavor and so it's not so dry, even though turkey is not dry. But ground beef, I mean ground turkey is not really that dry. I'm gonna show you how I do everything. I have the oven preheating at 350. Um, once that's preheated, um, I'm gonna put it, the peppers in there for about 15 minutes so it can cook. Then I'm gonna, while that's happening, I'm gonna cook the meat. And when the meat is all said and done, I'm going to stuff the peppers and then I'm gonna put it back in the oven for another about 15 minutes, 20 minutes, and they should be ready. Alright, so I have a skillet with some avocado oil. I'm gonna put the onions in the green onions and the, the, onions and the, the garlic in first. We want the onions to get a little like transition. All right, so I threw in the, the ground turkey in there and I'm just gonna cover it until it starts to cook and then I'll put in all the seasonings and the tomato sauce. All right, now that the meat is already like, it's pretty much cooked, I'm gonna throw in all the seasonings. So when the water dries down, um, I'll get to the meat. So there's all the seasoning. I'm just gonna mix it all in there. Okay, so here are the peppers. Um, they have a lot of liquid inside them, so I'm just gonna like dab a napkin in there to like take all that liquid out. So I can start stuffing them. They're really hot, so be careful, guys. Um, they're pretty cooked. I'm just gonna stuff it back in the oven because I am gonna put a little bit of cheese. So what I'm going what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a tiny bit of cheese, putting a little bit, like a small layer at the bottom first. Because I love cheese. Look, the cheese is already melting. Um, a little bit of cheese at the bottom. Just a tiny bit. Because you're gonna remember you're gonna put a little bit of cheese at the top. You're just going to get the turkey meat and stuff. I'm gonna make a mess. Stuff it with as much turkey as you want. It's your preference. Alright, so you guys get the point. I'm gonna do this and I'll be right back and I'll show you before I pop it in the oven. How it looks, and then I'll show you when it's out the oven after the cheese melts. Okay, I'll be right back. And this is the final product. Um if you want to eat it with some sour cream and Guac on top you can, or some avocado on the side, but honestly, this is good enough. I'm probably going to eat it with some guac on top, just because I love guac. And that's pretty much it. 